Welcome back, friends. Did you have fun making your safety stop sign? Remember to use it in any situation where you feel unsafe and need time to think. Today, we're going to learn about the importance of having a trusted triangle of adults that you can turn to in any situation. Are you ready? Let's get going. I want everybody to close their eyes. I want you to think about what a stranger looks like. What is a stranger wearing? What is a stranger doing? Just think about that, okay? You're gonna help me draw it. Okay, everybody open your eyes. Now, raise your hands and tell me, first of all, what did that stranger look like? Someone you don't know. Someone you don't know, that's a very good answer. What else? Um, somebody who you didn't know very well and they were trying to kidnap you. Oh, maybe they could try and hurt you. Well, let's see. So the stranger that you saw in your mind, was he tall? Was it a he? Was it a she? Was it a he or a she? He. It was he. a he. Okay. Was he tall or was he short? Tall. Really tall. So let's make him really tall. Okay. Really tall. Okay. What did his face look like? What did his eyes look he like? He had a black eye on one side. A black eye on one side, okay. So he had a black eye on one side. That's his little black eye. His other eye was regular, right? Yeah. All right, so he has a regular eye on this side. Okay. What else? Did he have a smile? Did he have a frown? Frown. Yeah. A, a frown, okay. So he, was like a, like, he was like laughing like a bad laugh. Like a bad laugh. So like, would it be like a, a mouth like this? No. no. What kind of mouth? He would go wah ha ha ha. Oh, like a like a witch almost. So like a kind of like a mouth like this. <laughs> yeah. All right. So he had a mouth like that. What kind of hair did he have? Black hair. 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 Is it long hair? Long short. Hair. Short. Long short. So something long, like long short. short. Was it was it nicely brushed or was it messy? Messy. messy. So messy. So let's make his hair all messy. <laughs> it's long. <laughs> Too long. All right. Now, what was Too he? Long. What was he doing? He was trying to kidnap us. Oh, yeah. so he was trying. Okay, so he, he was, was trying to maybe money. hurt us. Okay. What else was he doing? Did he? Was he holding anything? He, he was, was holding yeah. a trap. A trap. Okay. So and he was holding a sword. A sword. So yeah. he had a sword in this hand. Okay. That's his sword. He had a sword in this hand. He had a trap in this hand. So it's kind of like a net, right? So he had a trap in this hand, he had a sword in this hand, he had a black eye, he had crazy hair, he had a mean mouth. What kind of clothes was he wearing? Like a crazy. black a black shirt. A black no, shirt. Rag, a black shirt. Raggedy clothes. Raggedy clothes. Okay, so let me try and make some raggedy clothes here. Some raggedy clothes on this guy. Okay. He looks he looks very mean. He looks very mean, huh? All right, yeah. So, can I ask you a question? I heard somebody say, a stranger is just someone we don't know well. Is that true? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Am I a stranger? No. No? Do you know me really well? No. Yes. How long have you known me, really? Just today. Just today? Mm -hmm. So you don't know me very well. So you're, you're a stranger. stranger. That's right, I am a stranger. I'm just someone you don't know well. Can you tell if I'm bad or mean? Good. You can't tell if I'm bad or mean. You can't tell if I'm good or bad because you, you, you just don't know. We have to look at people and, and make a decision not based on how they look. We have to listen to our who. Our grown-up buddies. That's right. Because our grown-up buddies will help us stay safe and help us if, if there is somebody around who may not be safe or who may be safe. We just don't know. We have to look at people's behaviors, not what they look like, okay? Okay, so let me ask you a question. So a stranger is someone you just don't know well, right? Right. Okay, so now, there might be sometimes that it's okay to talk to strangers, right? If they're your, go your grown friend if that you've never met before, that's okay. If it's somebody you've never met before? Like, your mama knows it, but you don't oh, know so if Oh, so if your grown-up buddy is there? Yeah. Right. Okay, so if your grown-up buddy's there, it is okay to talk to strangers because your grown-up buddy is there to help keep us safe. Right. Right. And, they know, and they know the And thing. they might know them. Very good. Hi, friends. Did you draw a picture of what a stranger looks like to you? Did you imagine a woman or a man? What did a 
his face look like? Did he have beady eyes or snarly lips? Did he or she have wild hair and raggedy clothes? Was he holding anything like a knife or a trap? Yeah, that is pretty scary. But is this really what a stranger looks like? Remember, a stranger is just someone we don't know well. It could be a man or a woman. It could be someone scary and shabby looking, or it could be someone who looks clean and happy. What makes a stranger is just that you don't know them well. And should you ever be alone with a stranger? No! Who should you always be with when you're in public? Grown up buddy! You're exactly right! You should be with your grown up buddies. Today, my classroom friends and I are going to talk about grown up buddies and who you can turn to whenever you're in a situation that makes you feel unsafe. We're going to make our own trusted triangles and you'll have a chance to make your own. Come on, let's go. All right, so all these trusted adults are people that we can talk to about anything. And we put these trusted adults into our trusted triangle. Can you say that with me? Trusted, trusted triangle. triangle, exactly. And our trusted triangle has three or more adults that we can talk to about anything. So I'm gonna do my trusted triangle, okay? So my trusted triangle would be my mom, right? My trusted triangle would be my Dad. And you know who else would be in my trusted triangle? Teacher. I would have my teacher. Yes, I'll have my teacher. And you know what? I have um, a grandma that I love very much. And I will put her in there. And I have an uncle that I have that I can talk to about a lot of things. And here's me on Mrs. Book. Here I am in the middle. There's me in the middle. <coughs> so these are people that I can talk to about any kind of problem that I'm having, okay? So now let's say I am at school and I have a very, very bad fight with my friend and I'm very, very sad about it and it's really bothering me and I go home and I call my mom because she's at work and mom doesn't answer the phone. What do I do? What do I do? Tell a grown-up buddy. Tell another grown-up buddy. So I went to mom, and mom was busy. She didn't answer my phone. So I could go to the next person in my trusted triangle, right? Grandma. So I go my, I call my grandma. And my grandma says, oh, Lauren, I'm gardening. Can I call you back? OK? So that means what? So that means I go to what? Do I dad. stop? No. Do I stop? No, no, you go to your dad. I go to my dad. So I call dad, and I say, dad, I had such a bad fight with my friend. I need some help. You know what dad says? I'm in a meeting. I'll call you back. What do I do now? Go to the next person. Right. You keep on going. You keep telling all these adults until somebody can hear what you're saying and help you with what you have to talk about, okay? And hopefully you get help. But if not, and you don't get help, you do what? Do you just go to your grandma? Go to your grandma. So now uncle. let's say my uncle. So let's say I went to mom, I went to grandma, I went to dad, I went to the teacher, and I went to my uncle. And I didn't get any help. What do I do? You go to another grown up, like That's your neighbor, like right. your friend. You keep on going until you get what? What's that H word? Help. Help. 